You want a big ass chest? Chest so big you can sit on it like a damn Chesterfield? Check out this episode of three best, three worst chest exercises. Before we get started here are the parameters, it needs to be safe, easy to learn, and it's gonna give you the most amount of muscle stimulus on the lengthened portion of the lift. So guys, let's get into it. Ah, barbell flat bench chest press. Of my number one worst exercises for, for chest. But why? Okay, so why is this not that good of an exercise for building a chest? Don't shoot me guys, I get it. But number one guys, when it comes to being safe, it's loaded too much and it's not safe for everybody because most of the time we're not doing the proper form with this. Now, easy to do, I would say is one of those movements that are up on the list that you have to get yourself accustomed to before a free weight exercise. Now, when it comes to the load being on the chest, yes, we're getting that, but for the most part, when it comes to chest development, everybody's missing that upper chest. A lot of people can work the upper chest a lot more. So doing something like a 15 degree incline or 30 degree incline is gonna be that much more beneficial for building your chest. And eventually you're gonna be going there anyway after you've done this way too many times, your chest is developed, but you got nothing on top. So for number one, for worst exercise for building a chest, it's gonna be barbell flat bench. I see the comments. You guys say this channel should be at a million. Thanks. But guess what? Only 40% of you have subscribed and only 9% of you have that post notification button on. So do your boy a favor, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so the next time I drop a video, you'll be the first ones to get it. Appreciate you. Ah, close grip dumbbell press is definitely number two on worst chest exercises. And here's why. Now guys, really, I'm not gonna see you in the gym and kick you over if you're doing this exercise, just really not. But here's the reason why it's not that good of a chest builder. Number one, we're not getting the full range of motion because we're simply bunched up here. What we wanna do to get the full range of motion is basically spread these things apart and coming all the way down. That way, on the way down, we get that full lengthened portion of this lift and the stimulus on the chest. And if we really wanna make it a inside chest builder, well, on the way up, we can just press to the middle which makes a lot more sense. So unless you're doing it this way, close grip dumbbell press is just number two for worst chest exercises. Well, dumbbell flies are definitely up on the list for worst chest exercises, and, and here's why. Now, why is it not a good exercise? Well, again, when we're talking about making sure that we're getting a lot of stretch on this, we are. We absolutely are at this part of the lift, which is good. But on the way up, we're losing a lot of that tension. The line of force, the line of pull is basically non-existent from here. So if you're only repping that short range from here to here, it might be effective. But at the same time, we really want to make sure we're getting all the way down and coming all the way up. Now, when it comes to this being a good exercise, we're just not getting enough stimulus at the top of this lift. There's absolutely nothing going on here, 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 and then now you're actually getting something here, and then if we went all, all the way down, that's where you're getting your lift. Now this is good here, but the only problem is, is that we're sitting in this range here, flat, and it's gonna put a lot of pressure on your shoulders. So if anything, I pull this up to an incline and do it, or just head over to the cables and do it better. So for me, dumbbell flies is up there for number three worst, Chest builders. Go, come on, come on, come on. Okay, look, I get it. There's no weight on the bar, but look, you want to continue to do this, actually. Right. <laughs> Reason why this is a better exercise than flat bench is we have a 15 degree incline, and where flat bench misses the mark, just raising the incline to 15 degrees is going to give you that much more stimulus in the entire chest. Not only are we hitting the middle part of your chest, but we're also hitting the upper part of the chest as well too while dodging some of that anterior head of the delt. And especially being in a Smith machine, we can control the weight coming down and get a great stretch at the bottom of the lift with this lengthened part of the lift, and we can continue to press up while having constant tension on the bar with the bar pathway being consistent the entire way through. So guys, from floor to core, feet underneath the knees, glutes engaged, abs engaged, fists, wrists, and elbows stacked under the bar, and stretching the bottom of the lift here, 15 degree incline Smith machine, 
is gonna be number one for my favorite and best chest exercise. That's right. You wanna build your chest, the entire chest, especially that upper pec where you guys are all missing, including myself, we want about a 30 degree angle on this bad boy. And that's gonna make this Smith Machine incline press that much more beneficial for you to build that chest of yours. And here's why. When we're flat bench, we're basically getting this part of the chest. And now again, the entire chest is gonna work regardless of where you put it, but when it comes to loading it and primarily getting the most amount of muscle recruitment on the part of the chest that we need the most, it's gonna be where most people lack and that's gonna be the upper part of the chest. That 30 degree incline is gonna give us the best amount of stimulus to be able to work that upper part of the chest. Get a little bit more of those that anterior delt working just a bit, not taking over. And then again, being in the Smith machine or in a machine, you're gonna have that constant tension, that consistent bar pathway, and that load staying directly on top of the place that we're trying to target. So if you're really trying to build your chest, get into a Smith machine or a machine, 15 degree incline and then 30 degree incline, and that's gonna do you wonders to building that nice big ass chest of yours. That pigeon chest, that upper deck chest, that Arnold chest, that double stack cheeseburger chest. I just made that one up, but either way, you know what I'm saying. 30 degree Smith machine incline is number two for my best chest exercise. I got dizzy watching this thing up and down too. Shoot. Yes! One of my absolute favorite. It could be one of yours too, and here's why it should be one of your favorite. Cable flies is gonna give us the most amount of tension the entire way throughout the entire lift. See, where dumbbells lack is when you're at the shortened part of the lift, there's no tension. So even at the top of the shortened part of the lift, we're still getting tension on the chest where it's pulling back. Now, I recommend doing low, medium, and high. Now, a couple of things to make sure, guys. When we're doing cable flies, make sure that the angle of the cable is the same angle of the forearm. That's gonna ensure that you're pressing it in the direct pathway or the line of pull that it's intended. And again, when we're talking about the lengthened portion of the lift, when we're back in here and stretched the entire time, that's where we get the most amount of muscle recruitment. And then because these cables were getting constant tension right from the end, all the way right to the beginning and back. So guys, cable flies at low, medium, or high are number three for my favorite and best exercise for chest. And that is it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're gonna use these in a workout, which you easily can, again, take each exercise for three hard sets. You can do anything between 10 to 20 reps. Two to three second negative, one second nice stretch at the length and portion lift, and then one second positive. Again, take those for three hard sets each. You can put that in a full workout, and that is your Monday chest day maybe, or maybe it's your upper day two. Either way guys, let me know if you gave that a try in the comment section below. Until next time, you know how it is. Iron sharpens iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.